Okay, everybody, just a, one more reminder that we are recording. And yes, I will make this link available. It'll be posted on our uh, webpage. And I'm going to try to have it to see if Miss Gogolinski can put this on our Rams TV Junior as well. Uh, don't forget, tomorrow is our parent meeting. If you didn't see it, <clears throat> I sent out an email to everybody, just so you know. Um, we are not going to do in person. Um, so we're going to do it completely remote. I sent out the link for that. And then I'm going to ask uh, Miss Wildfur to put it on the um, Facebook page, and then we'll also post that link on our webpage as well. So you'll have that Zoom link for that. And that will also be on Rams TV Junior as well. All right, so welcome everybody. It's good to see you guys this morning as we get ready to come back to school full in person. I hope you guys are as excited as we are to welcome everybody back. Um, so it's great to have this. Um, we're really hoping for, I mean, fingers crossed, maybe we can do this in person uh, before the end of the school year. Um, so we're, we're trying right now, the works are in progress to see we're working with our school nurses to see if this is gonna be possible to have at least one of these in person, maybe our very last one, that would be awesome. Um, but so for right now, we'll continue with the virtual meetings. Always a highlight of our time to do this. I do have to tell everyone, Mr. O'Brien is out today. So on, you get to hear my voice for fifth and sixth grade. And then of course, Mr. Stein will do seven and eight. All right. Um, <laughs> so you're in for a real treat today. You only have the two of us. So I don't know if I should apologize or, or not for that, but anyway, <laughs> it's good to see you all. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, I'm gonna start with fifth grade. And my first award is for high academic achievement. And that is Team Aspire. That's going to be Jessica Haversky. Jessica has been, has quietly been an academic all-star all year long. Whether remote or in person, Jessica always completes work, quality work to the best of her ability. Her writing in class is often used as examples of excellence and she always has her work done on time. Northbridge Middle School is lucky to have a student like Jessica. Congratulations, Jessica. From Team Courage, high academic achievement, Ashley Gagne. Ashlyn comes to class ready to learn every day. We are very proud of the progress that she has made this year. Ashlyn puts a tremendous amount of effort into her work. Ashlyn is always an incredible writer. Her writing talent is amazing. We can't wait to read all the books that you are going to write one day. Keep working hard and we are very proud of you. You're an incredible part of Team Courage. Congratulations. Team Honor. Bella Baltramitis. Bella has been showing us that she is here to learn and give her best from the moment she stepped into fifth grade. Her hard work and fantastic effort do not go unnoticed. Bella works hard in and out of school to accomplish her goals and it shows in all she does. She asks questions and is always an active learner. We are so very lucky to have her on Team Honor and she is a fantastic role model for her peers. Congratulations, right. Bella. Good citizenship from Team Aspire, Jessica Callis. Jessica is one of the most pleasant and positive students we have ever had on Team Aspire. She always has a kind word to say to her classmates and is very helpful to anyone in need. Whether she is remote or in person, she is always doing the right thing, participating, showing her face and getting her work done. We are so lucky to have Jessica on our team. Congratulations, Jessica. Team Courage, Brooklyn Tebow. Brooklyn is not only an incredible citizen, but she is also an extremely hard worker. She is always trying her best and wanting to do well. She certainly puts in 110% effort into her work. Brooklyn also is always willing to work with others and she never complains. She always has a smile on her face. We can't even tell, we can even tell that she is smiling under her mask. That's a big smile. Thanks for always brightening up everyone's day on Team Courage. We are very proud of you. Congratulations, Brooklyn. Team Honor, Kathleen Hamadou. Kathleen has always been a wonderful, positive attitude every day. She comes to class with a smile, ready to give her all. Kathleen is always kind and caring to her peers and teachers. She goes out of her way to include others and is a wonderful group member. Kathleen is also there to offer help when one of her peers might need it. Keep, keep up all the great work, Kathleen. We are so very lucky to have you on our team. Congratulations, Kathleen. Team Integrity, Lucas Wohler. Lucas is Team Integrity's Student of the Month for Mar Lucas is Team Integrity Student of the Month for March, 
but he has demonstrated the quality of high academic achievement, citizenship, and grit all year long. He is kind and helpful classmate who always works well with others. Lucas always gives his best effort, and even when facing a challenge, he perseveres. Lucas participates regularly in class and has been working very hard in our fractions unit. We are very lucky to have Lucas on Team Integrity. Congratulations, Lucas. Grit Awards from Team Aspire, Evan Flanagan. Evan has been fully remote all year and has to handle this tough situation, and he has done so with grit and determination. He is great with communication, participation, and work completion. He shows his face all the time and is an active member of, of the classroom. We can't wait to meet him in person. Congratulations, Evan. Team Courage, Mariah Moss. Mariah has shown the true meaning of grit this month. She is staying on task and understanding her responsibilities. We love seeing Mariah in class. She always participates and asks questions, which benefits the whole class. Mariah, we are so proud of the academic growth you have shown this year. Keep smiling and working hard. Congratulations, Mariah. Right. Team Honor, Jace Phillips. Jace does his best to work hard every day. He is always on time and ready to learn each and every day. Jace does not shy away from a challenge. He works at it until he gets the answer and he never gives up. Jace loves to question the world around him and he truly loves to learn. We are so very proud of the hard work and effort Jace has put into fifth grade so far this year. Keep it up, Jace. We are happy to have you as part of Team Honor. Congratulations, Jace. Related Arts Awards, music from Mr. Gogan goes to Mariah Moss. Mariah is a good citizen in our music class. She is respectful, quiet, and is always willing to work with anyone. Her questions are always thoughtful and often help to guide other students as well. She is a great role model for any of her classmates. Keep up the great work, Mariah. Congratulations. Music, Lyle, uh, Layla Kasky. Layla truly goes above and beyond in music class. This is from Mr. Kilgrip. She combines her excellent listening skills and ability to absorb new information with a natural intuition and love for music. She has independently started to learn the piano and she is interested in becoming involved with the school ensembles next year. I'm so happy to see her enjoying herself as she begins to walk the path of music. Well done and good luck to you through your musical journey. Art, Roy Lamanda. Roy is always a pleasure to have in class. He strives to participate on all levels and always dedicates himself to trying his hardest to make sure he is completing the assignments to 100% of his ability. He is thoughtful, insightful, and never shy to ask the teacher and others for advice on how he can improve. Congratulations. Grade six, high academic achievement, team excellence, Rosa Flores. Rosa has really stepped it up lately and has been a great part of our class. This attitude and determination are leading her to find academic success, which has impressed both of us. Congratulations, Rosa. Team Victory, Elsa Richards. Elsa is one of Team Victory's hardest working students. She is always punctual and ready to learn each and every day. She tackles every challenge head on and is not afraid to ask questions and is a frequent participant in group discussions. Elsa clearly enjoys school, learning, and aims for success on a daily basis. Elsa's future looks promising if she keeps this up. Excellent job, Elsa. Team Tenacity, Cassandra Sullivan. Cassandra takes her academics very seriously and it is evident in her efforts each and every day. Cassandra has a thirst for knowledge and consistently goes above and beyond in her classwork. She is thoughtful and an active participant in class discussions. We are so very proud of all the hard work and effort Cassandra has put forth into the school year. We're so fortunate to have Cassandra as a member of Team Excellence. Congratulations. Good citizenship, team tenacity, Isabel Bertusik. Isabel has been a strong community member in our classroom since hybrid began. She is helpful with gentle reminders, quick to participate and encourage others and re reliable in meetings and modeling expectations. Congratulations, Isabel. Team excellence, Olivia Stanick. 
Team Excellence would like to recognize Olivia Stanick for our Citizenship Award. Olivia is an active participant in all our class discussions and is always willing to lend a hand to other students who need assistance. Olivia is a kind and polite student and we are so fortunate to have her as a member of Team Excellence. Congratulations, Olivia. Team Victory, Andy Cook. Congratulations is in order for Andy Cook, who is well deserving of the Good Citizenship Good Citizenship Award for the month of March. Andy is kind, polite, and adheres to all RAMS protocols. Andy works well with others and has no problem lending a helping hand when needed. Victory teachers are happy to have you on our team. Awesome job, Andy. Congratulations. GRIT Award from Team Excellence, Alea Mendez. Alea recognizes that hard work pays off and she is not afraid to put in the efforts to achieve results. Alea comes prepared for all classes and goes the extra mile to make sure her assignments are completed and turned in on time. Her tenacity is most impressive. Congratulations, Alea. Team Victory, Riley Beaupre. Riley is full of grit and her teachers love it. Riley is an active participant on Zoom as well as in the classroom and is always on task. Victory teachers have seen a drastic improvement in her drive to do well, and it is certainly paying off. Victory teachers want Riley to know that her efforts do not go unnoticed and keep up the hard work. Congratulations, Riley. Team Tenacity, Iris Riz, Riz. Iris is a determined and hardworking student who has consistently put in phenomenal effort this school year. She has met the challenge of fully remote learning and has been succeeding in these challenging times. Congratulations, Iris. Related arts, computers, Nicolette Paradise. Nicolette has, has, been, has such a creative mind that her work always stands out in computer class. She participates daily and adds so much to the class discussions. Her recent video project on careers showcased solid facts along with animated objects and a professional color theme. Her passion for art, along with her ability to master new software, will help her shine in the years to come. Way to go, Nicolette. Health, Dylan Saster. Dylan deserves to be recognized for the tremendous progress he has accomplished in health. He has made significant strides to ensure that he is in class every day and completes his daily assignments. He gives 100%, tries his best, and is a hard worker. His outstanding improvement and perseverance is clearly recognized in the classroom. It is a pleasure to recognize Dylan as Student of the Month. Congratulations, Dylan. And at that point, I am done with my part for fifth and sixth. I'm gonna turn it over to the one and only Mr. Stein. Thank you, Mr. DiOrio. nice job. Congratulations to all the prior winners. You guys are awesome. So proud of each and every one of you. So like Mr. Uh, DiOrio just mentioned, I will start with our academic awards. In grade seven, high academic achievement, team acceptance, Isabella Dorado. Isabella is a consistently strong student with an excellent work ethic. She completes all of her assignments on time and produces really high quality work. We are so impressed by Isabella's work ethic and look forward to seeing what she'll produce in quarter four. Nice job, Isabella. Team Bravery, Gabriel Smart. Gabe has improved steadily all year long. Whether remote or in person, Gabe completes quality work to the best of his ability. We are, we are very proud of the progress that he has made this year. Northbridge Middle School is lucky to have a student like Gabe. Nice job, Gabe. Good citizenship, team acceptance, Jason Callis. Jason is the perfect model for team acceptance, good citizenship award. He consistently participates in class, answers questions and often volunteers to read aloud when others are reluctant. He is the perfect model of citizenry and we're thrilled to award him our Citizen of the Month. Nice job, Jason. Team Bravery, Lara Rivers. It is our pleasure to name Lara for the Good Citizenship Award. Lara is considerate to all of her classmates. 
She is an excellent team member when working on class assignments and is always willing to work with others. Lara is respectful to students and teachers alike. She is a hardworking and good citizen role model. Nice job, Lara. Displays grit, team acceptance. Charlotte Latour. Charlotte is the perfect model for grit on team acceptance. She has certainly put in the extra effort this semester and consistently goes above and beyond our, our projects and classwork assignments. When she is stuck, she always finds a solution. We are so impressed by her worth ethic and perseverance. Way to go, Charlotte. Team Bravery, Nina McElrath. Nina shows the meaning of grit. She is always on task and understanding her responsibilities. She comes prepared for all classes and goes the extra mile to make sure her assignments are completed and turned in on time. Nice job, Nina. Related arts, STEM, Sean Sprott. Sean is always listening and prepared to comment on the topics in STEM. He has a fantastic understanding of how parts interact in communication system, vehicles, and buildings. When he is grappling with a difficult problem, Sean asks for help. When you need a student to go that extra step, either to call for an answer to guide the instruction or to check on the Chromebook cart, Sean can be trusted to come through. Congratulations, Sean. The RISE program, Vincent Anderson. We are proud to have Vinny be this month's Student of the Month recipient. He has shown an overall increased effort with his classes. He has made nice improvements in his work completion and increased expected classroom participation. Keep up the good work, Vinny. We are proud of you. Physical education, Mrs. Nelson, Danielle Shrabaz. Danielle is receiving this student of the month for her outstanding effort, hard work, grit, and dedication within physical education class. Danielle consistently has a positive attitude. She is always prepared for class and ready to be a leader among her peers. She leads by example. Danielle is a pleasure to have in class and works hard. Congratulations, Danielle. Physical education, Mr. Abrain, Addison Crothers. Addison is always someone I can rely on in phys ed. She always works hard and puts forth her best effort in everything we do. She quietly leads by example, by always giving 100% in everything she does. Hopefully one day she can shoot as well as her brother, her boy, excuse me, Steph Curry. Great job, Addison. New, now moving on to grade eight. High academic achievement, team endurance, Aaron Bazalian. Aaron Bazalian is truly a pleasure to have in class. Being a remote student has not stopped her from being successful. She is always on task, always participating, and and is finding success in each content area. Aaron has met the obstacles of this year head on and has truly excelled. Congratulations, Aaron, and keep up the good work. Team leadership, Gianna Hayes. We are pleased to select Gianna Hayes for the High I Academic Award this month. Gianna has been working tirelessly this year she has never wavered from her pursuit of excellence in education. Gianna is an absolute delight and it is a joy to have her in the classroom. Gianna will find success in whatever path she chooses to take in life. Congratulations, Gianna. Good Citizenship Award, Team Endurance, Sosi Durkars Rofian. Sosi Durkos-Rofian is a model student. 
her leadership skills, maturity, and dedication to success, to success is clear in everything she does. She works well with anyone she is partnered with and is able to keep everyone focused on the task at hand. Being a member of student council, Sosi is a role model, not just to her classmates, but to the students in every grade. Thank you, Sosi, for everything you do for Northbridge Middle School. Nice job, Sosi. Team leadership, Morgan Dion. It is our pleasure to name Morgan Dion for the Good Citizenship Award. Morgan is a kind and thoughtful young lady who is considerate to all of her classmates. She is an excellent team member when working on class assignments and is always willing to work with others. Morgan is respectful to students and teachers alike. She is hardworking and a good citizen role model. Congratulations, Morgan. Displays grit, team endurance, Carly Bolduck. Carly Bolduck always has a smile on her face. At home or in person, Carly is on task, engaged and working hard on every assignment. Her willingness to put in the necessary effort has proven very successful this year. She is truly a pleasure to have in class, impresses her teachers daily. Great job, Carly. Team leadership, Eva Scherer. We are delighted to select Eva Scherer for the GRIT Award. Eva is a, without a doubt, one of the hardest workers in the eighth grade. She never lets an assignment slip by. She is always prepared for tests and quizzes and is very organized. Her tenacity is admirable. She is industrious and conscientious. We are very happy to have her on our team. Congratulations, Eva. And that is all for the uh, grade level award winners. I will now like to announce the last award for our ceremony. It is the Dean of Students Ambassador Award. By definition, Dean of Students Ambassador Award will be awarded to any student in grades five through eight who go over and above the basic expectations of a student. A student who displays the qualities of leadership and resiliency in times of uncertainty. We are looking for students to knock the ball out of the park when not expected. This month's winner for the Dean of Students Ambassador Award is Tyler Gamble. Tyler is an excellent nominee for the Dean of Students Ambassador Award. During ELB class, Tyler will work with any student who needs further clarification. He is very patient and creative in his approach to his explanations. Tyler works very well and patiently with the student body. Tyler is an ex excellent student and generous with his time. Tyler and his family have donated various supplies for our physical education program and hand sanitizer that has been distributed throughout the school population. This young man has a genuine care and concern for all of our community. Way to go, Tyler. Thank you very much for everyone. Turning it back to you, Mr. D. Thank you, Mr. Stein. And You're congratulations welcome. to Tyler and all the students today. It's a great job. Um, before we go, I just want to tell everyone, I want to challenge all these students, and especially our eighth graders, to I'm going to challenge you to really be a positive role model and a leader in our school when we come back to full in-person instruction. You know, we're going to have close to 600 kids back in our building and we're going to need everybody's help. So I'm so glad that we give this award out because this is the kind of students that we have in our school. And these are the kind of students we're going to need when we come back. So we're really going to depend on you guys next week. So make sure you get plenty of rest over the weekend because you're going to be busy. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, this concludes our, our meeting for today. Like I said, hopefully we'll have one of these in person real soon. Um, a reminder, tomorrow night's our parent meeting. It's going to be at 630. Uh, the virtual link has been sent out. We're also going to post it on our website. Um, we'll post it on Facebook as well. 
We hope to see you guys. We got a lot to talk about. Um, we're going to get you ready as we come back to in-person instruction, let you know what's new and improved and how we're ready for this to be successful. Uh, other than that, have a wonderful day, everybody. It was great to see you. Thank you. Goodbye, everyone.